Hey guys, so today I'm going to be taking apart this. It's a little, oh, the screen came off. It's a GPS, okay? So we're going to be taking it apart to see what's inside. So I'll remove the screen for later. It also came with this 3.7 volt, 2.2 uh, volt, amp hour lithium ion battery pack and some speakers. So it has, interestingly enough, it has, um, what happened is the cap was broken, so I tried replacing it, but it, it didn't work. So I suspect the battery is dead, and I don't know how to charge it. So I'm going to try to keep it in working condition so I can see if I can charge it over USB. Um, but, you know, I'll take the cans off and stuff. So here, it appears like this is our some sort of antenna because it has a little connector attached to it with a piece of coax. And the only connector from this little board down to the main board here is... A little coax as you can see here just one coax that's all so if we maybe try to pry this can off we can see some sort of analog circuitry it appears to have a few MOSFETs and things probably can't see that yeah, okay, so I'll, I'll get, I'll uh, zoom in on all of these after I've taken them off, but I'll, I'll do a general overview. So you can see, here's the cap I replaced, if we maybe zoom in a little bit. This is an inductor that I chipped off, caps, you know, this is like a power supply section. Um, this is the connector that connected to the um, case. This is the place where the battery pack would plug in, you know, just like that. So, kind of far away from the power supply section, I'm going to get it. This is where the screen plugs in. We have USB, we have a little knob for volume, I guess, and then nothing but cans on this side. So if we maybe pry off this can. Interesting, there's not much in these cans, really. It's like a um, device made by, let me try to read this, Q-I-M-O-N-D-A, Quimoda little BGA, I shouldn't say a little, it's a pretty, probably a very high density BGA package there. Um, and another bit and a bunch of analog stuff. It's an SD card slot that I forgot to mention. And on this side, we have two cans. We have this sort of foil can, which is, oh, it's out of frame. It's just like foil can. And you see, I can make marks on it, which is weird. It's not like rigid. See, I don't know if I want to take this off. This isn't a rigid, this is like foil tape. It's not a rigid solution to. So my real motive behind taking this apart is I want some way to get the NMEA data coming from the GPS to use in my project. Um, the uh, Cosmic Ray Project, I need some sort of absolute time reference. And what better to give me a time reference than GPS? So, my real motive in taking it apart is not just to see what's inside and how it works. Yeah, this looks to be some sort of foil tape or something. We can just maybe cut it like that and then... it so that's it's like a it's like a foil tape almost it is foil tape I wonder somehow how they connected the tape to the actual outer interesting also is it appears to be the same size as the smaller shield so I don't know why they didn't use a rigid metal shield why they used a foil shield that's interesting it's it's I'll have to figure some way to reshield this when I'm finished, but Let's see what's in here. It's just a little another little device. It's got a probably a processor here. It's got this crystal oscillator with it. It is the Max 2745. I have to look that up. This is the little spring here that they have for the uh, shielding in the uh, actual GPS like Thing itself in the actual plastic casing. So let me just take this. This is actual like rigid one. I, I don't. Okay, so clearly these 
are the main processing units. You have one, this is like a SRAM or DRAM Samsung. This one is a Garmin, so this appears to be a Garmin GPS, and they have their own custom chip. Interesting, and they have all these little test points all over the place. Like, all over the place. So that's interesting. It appears that somehow, over this one little coax connection, this, which appears to be the main GPS unit, I guess, gets all the power, ground, everything. Dynamic Movo. Somehow gets all the power and ground and, and signal out over a single coax, because there's no other way to connect to this besides maybe shielding to the case and this connector, which was on the outside of the GPS. It's like an SMA, I think is what you call it. Anyway, I'm going to now go, uh, well, let's take apart the screen here. We have, it's, it's got a little, like, touch screen, and I think it's a four-wire touch screen, because coming from the touch screen is this connector, which has four. So this is all just, I think, stuck down. And now, touch screen is, like, taped on with this tape. It's like, hmm, fabric -y tape. Interesting. No real good way to remove it either. Hmm. How do you get this touch screen off? Maybe, maybe it's this top model piece. No, that's just for the screen. It looks like I'm just going to have to remove all the tape. Hey, hey guys, so this is... The touch screen, after I've removed it, as you can see here, I, I did actually crack the gra glass in removing it, but it's just one of these four wire resistive, oh, my macro mode is not working well, resistive touch screens. And the actual screen appears to be just a TFT with a regular backlight. backlight. Interesting here is that for shielding, uh, you can see this connects to this foil tape. This is like a copper foil tape. They really like foil tape. You can see this is the driver. Obviously, the touchscreen doesn't need a driver. I'll actually see if I can, like, maybe scratch these contacts or something and, you know, solder to it or whatever and see if I can actually use the screen. That's the screen, and this is the TFT. Again, that's where the screen would connect. Maybe useful maybe not so now here is the um, are going to be the different cans on the GPS I'll show you those next sorry I had to go handheld for this one to get close enough but this is the chip on this board my camera won't focus it far away because it's the macro mode so I can only assume this is the GPS unit and in here I guess there's a little pad for shielding, what, I don't know what that is, and a bunch of little transistors, stuff like that. You can, there you can see the coax connections. So they're not connected right at, at the ground point, which leads me to believe that somehow they are, you know, not super high speed. Flip it over to the, where the little foil was. There's a little device in there. The Max 2745, a little crystal at the bottom. So they have the references up at the top there. The uh, RF Tem something. And then here is your main one. So I'll give you a pan over this. Another device not populated, probably extra memory. And then the main chip, which is a Garmin chip. So that, that's everything, I guess. I mean, I'm, 
Oh, here, did I? I don't think I did this one. This is Quim Kimoda. I'm not quite sure how you say that. But these cans are almost empty. Here's the TFT up close. The uh, That's the controller. Is there a foil tape? And this is the resistive touchscreen. You can see it's cracked, but I, I, you know, iPods get cracked and still work. So maybe I'll, I'll be able to get it to work. Anyway, that's, that's what's inside a GPS. Clearly, this board is the main GPS unit with some sort of driving circuitry. But I don't, I don't get it. So I took apart the uh, lithium-ion battery pack and got to this little battery PCB which has two tiny devices on it that appear to have yeah there's nothing on the bottom as you can see it's connected over to the negative side and yeah that's it so that's that's really everything in the GPS